You differ from many of your GOP opponents on the stage tonight over accepting Syrian refugees into this country. You have said, we don't have an obligation to just open our doors. As the Islamic State continues to expand, slaughtering and crucifying Christians, including women and children, refugees continue to flee their land by the thousands. Should America open its doors to accept any refugees in this country? If so, how many? Sandra, I've been concerned that this administration has not done anything to help stop the slaughter of Christians. We didn't help the Kurds. We said we would. But the idea that we're just going to open our doors, and we have no idea who these people are, what we do know is that only one out of five of the so-called Syrian refugees who went into Europe were actually Syrian. Many of them, we had no idea who they were. They weren't Syrian. Are we going to open the door so that ISIS people will come on in and we'll give them a place to stay and a good sandwich and medical benefits? My gosh, we were $19 trillion in debt. We can't even afford to take care of Americans. So if we're going to do something for the Syrians, let's find out who they really are and the ones that are really in danger. Let's help build an encampment for them, but closer to where they live rather than bringing them here when they don't know the language, the culture, and frankly, if we've got as many homeless people as we have, I'm not sure this makes any sense. So let's do it where we can best help them, send them some food. But let's ask the Saudis to step up. I'm really tired of Americans being the only ones asked to do all the heavy lifting when it comes to charity. When quite frankly, my number one concern right now is taking care of the fact that Americans are taking it in the gut without jobs, many of them working two and three part-time jobs, and if America wants to do something great, let's get our economy growing again, stabilize the dollar, and we'll be in a much better position to help people around the world. All right, Governor Huckabee, thank you.